Hey guys, it's Jack here from DesignModo. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to collect data using the Forms functionality from the Static.app. Here we start by seeing the DesignModo Slides app. Using Slides, I export the contact form example and upload the archive with this contact form to Static.app. First, head over to Pages and click to create a new page. Name the form and notice how the rest of the box auto-fills, which is a great time saver. For this example, I'll rename the form and press Create. Now we can see the preset templates within Slides app. Head over to Form, and remember, you can always choose between light and dark modes. Just pick your favorite. In our example, we'll select a contact form and click Preview in the top right-hand corner. As you can see, the form looks great, so let's go to the top left hand of the screen and press download and download the HTML files with our contact form. Now, back in the static.app account, head over to Sites and click on New Website and click Browse. Then, find and select the zip file you just downloaded from Slides. Give your page a name, in this case contact form, and press Save Changes. Head back to Sites and find the contact form that you just saved. Click and there we can see the file we named index.html earlier on. Click on the Meatball menu, choose Edit Code and find the relevant line of code that pertains to the form. Head back to Forms in static.app and copy the line of code here under Specify Entries by Subject. Using this option, we'll create a new database with the selected name. In our case, our database name is Contacts. Drop this into the relevant part of the code we recently saw. In our case, we remove the action because we don't need it. Here is our new attribute and press Save Changes. Great! Now let's go back to Pages, find the same index.html page and let's do a test entry to see how it works. I'll drop my name, email and a quick message just like a user would, and press Send Message. For the last time, let's head back to Forms, and there you can see the new entry. It's saved under the same name Contacts, which was specified in that line of code we dropped in earlier. One click to check. Yes, everything is there exactly as planned. And finally, if you click into the new form entry, all of the information is neatly saved, and you have the option to either mark as spam or remove. Now you know how to use this small attribute provided by static.app to collect data from any form exactly in the way that you need. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm Jack from DesignModo, over and out.